All right, Shalom. This is Brother Kai Ha here with GMS Charlotte. I want to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And salutation to you, I came out there in the four corners teaching and pushing forth the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. I just wanted to uh, do a video that um the brother GMS Banza Ab made. You know, through the page of um, you call, you call Lawaya Yahawasha for the elect. You know what I'm saying? I was just watching that video, man. That's that's a heavy video. You know what I'm saying? Brother got, you know, some uh, some real good scriptures in, man. So the spirit just hopped on me. You know, if you have my shah will allow it. You know, I brought this up. You know, I want to um. You know what I mean? Add more to the video. I brought this out, make it just as edifying, man. You know what I'm saying? To continue to feed the body because hey, that's a heavy video, man. You know, um, I pray that y'all brothers watch it. You know, we, you, you know, get the downtime, man. So, you know, with that being said, I'm, um, I'm going to bring up the scriptures that he had bought out. And then I'm going to, you know, through the spirit, just ask some more, man. You know, because that was a heavy video, man. I, I strongly advise y'all brothers watch that, man. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 5 it says and the officers shall speak unto the people saying what man is there that hath built a new house and have not dedicated it let him go and return to his house lest he die in battle and another man dedicate it yeah so it says you know uh, if there's a new man about to go out to war and stuff like that he just built a new house he didn't get to enjoy his house yet go ahead go back to your house and uh, uh don't don't die in this battle man because another man going gonna take your house and so on and so forth man go ahead go back to your house <laughs> go enjoy your house man verse six and what man is he that hath planted a vineyard and have not eaten of it and have not yet eaten of it let him also go and return unto his house lest he die here in the battle lest he select it lest he die in the battle and another man eat of it yeah go enjoy your vineyard man go enjoy your, your little tomatoes and grapes and your, your cabbages man go ahead and enjoy Enjoy your vineyard. Enjoy your house and vineyard, man. Verse 7. And what man is there that hath betrothed a wife and have not taken her? Let him go and return into his house, lest he die in the battle and another man take her. Yeah, so you don't want to die in battle if um you, you, didn't, you didn't pop your wife yet, man. If you didn't go into your wife, you don't want to die in battle before uh having the comfort of a woman, man. You know, that's your wife. You know what I'm saying? And brothers being in this truth. To be real, we left all of that stuff behind, man, because again, we don't we don't have anything here in Babylon. There's nothing to go back to in the world. You know? We going to like, we out here in war, man. You know, we don't have time for for building a new house, planting a vineyard. You know what I'm saying? Taking a women in scripture say, um, let they that have wives be as though they had none, roughly paraphrasing, man. I forget which book it was in, but yeah. Yeah, man, we don't have time for all of that stuff, man. You know? Now, yeah, in the ancient, in the ancient world, yeah, you had to uh, comfort your wife before you had uh, went out to war. I believe it was, if I'm not mistaken, for a year. You had to uh, comfort your wife and so on and so forth, man. But after that, man, look. All right, we spiritual warriors, man. We're going to a, a, a heavy battle right now, man. Esau is coming down upon us. All right? Um, The next verse the brother got, or the next script the brother got, um... Was in the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 16. It said, Then said he unto him, Is he how was I speaking? A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are not ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. Don't that sound like a nigga to you, man? No, Jake always make excuses, but let me read on. Salakia. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs to go see it. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. Another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So like the brother said in the video, man, this, this correlates right with uh, Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, man, 5 and 7. You know, all of these guys out here that Yahweh is talking about has made excuses to go leave, man. Let me go into that word excuse right quick. He 
Here it is. To make excuse. All right. I'm going to play um I'm going to play the 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 translation for you. Strong's G 3868. Para teyamai. Para teyamai. Para teyamai. What that means is to ask alongside, beg to have near one, to obtain by entreaty, to beg from, to ask for, to supplicate, to avert by entreaty, or to seek avert, to deprecate, to entreat that, not to refuse, decline, to shun, avoid, to avert displeasure by entreaty, to beg pardon, crave indulgence, to excuse of one excusing himself for not accepting a wedding invitation to a feast. So Yahweh uh, Shah is inviting these guys, you know what I'm saying, to come out, uh, 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 do the work, you know, because, again, we're going into war, man. Lord willing, the men of great millstone, we got to be those men. We of the elect, man. Yahweh Shah is taking us out of the world and inviting us to this wedding. Hey, come to the come to the wedding, man. I bid you to this wedding. You know, come out to war. Go teach on the highways and byways, man. Because, again, look at all of the prophecies coming to pass, man. All right, Esau is ready for this, this thing, man. Martial law, World War Three. The so-called white man is ready for this shit. All right, we about to go into battle, a spiritual battle, man. All right, and if you are not ready for this thing, just get the hell out, man. Yabba Shema Shah. He said uh, um, uh, through the Apostle Paul, man, quit you like men. Be strong. All right? Show yourself to be a man. We are men in this truth. All right? Great adversity is coming down upon the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? Great tribulation and adversity is coming down upon us. All right? The prophets, the prophets even more so. Because they're about to kill us off, man. We're going to be on that red list, man. You know? Esau know exactly what the hell is about to happen, man. He's the one pushing this stuff real heavy, man. So like the brother said in the video, man, if you are not ready for this thing, just get the hell out, man. You got a little white. You got a wife at the crib. Go ahead. Go go back and comfort her, man. You just built a new house, a new vineyard, and go back and uh, attend to the vineyard in your house, man. All right? Because as far as I know, man, we in hell and we don't have shit on this side. So go ahead when your Howard shot come back, try try to tell him that um you, you didn't come out to war because you you had things in the world to tend to, man. Fuck that. The Lord gonna plead with you by way of the sword. And it's gonna be rightfully earned. The next scripture I wanted to get was in the book of Matthews. Saying how we don't need to be damn worrying about the stuff that's on this side, man. You know? Because we're going to have better in the kingdom. We don't have anything on this side, man. And that's what you niggas don't understand. Matthew 6 and 20. It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. So like, let me start at verse 19. It says, lay not up for yourself treasures upon the earth. All right? Where moth and, wrath, uh, where moth and rust doth corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. So anything can get snatched up from you on this side. Your house, your vineyard, or all your little works and labors, your little worldly works and labors, man. Your woman, because she's a whore. All right. Somebody can just easily break in and take that, man. It says, but lay, verse 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. And that's the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, because it ain't going to be no damn thieves and robbers in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, because it's going to be all righteousness. Yahweh Shah is coming back to deliver first judgment. You know what I'm saying? By way of destruction and then uh, salvation, man, to the men of the elect. And the one third, man. Verse 21, it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart also be. So that's what the men of the elect is trying to have. Our treasures in heaven. Because we don't got to worry about nobody coming in and taking our things. You know? And that's why, you know, that that's a beautiful brother that the video, a uh, beautiful video that the brother made, man. If you are not ready, leave now, man. If you don't want to do this, if you are scared, if you are frightened. Let me look that word up right quick. 
Um, I'm gonna look it up on the Marion Webster. I'm gonna look up afraid. It says filled with fear or apprehension. See fearful. Terrorize. Let me uh, see if they got something in the th uh, thesaurus. It says affrighted, aghast, alarmed, fearful, frightened, horrified, horror struck, hysterical, scared, scary, shocked, spooked, terrified, terrorized. <laughs> oh, then, oh, oh, uh oh, related words, chicken, faint hearted. All right, the scriptures talk about you faint hearted ass niggas, man. All right, you feeble need ass niggas, man. All right. Who's scared to go out to war to teach the the uh this doctrine, man, the truth about the scriptures. You scared to prophesy. Fearsome, shrinking, shy, timid, uh, timorous, tremulent, tremulent. Look, man, and the list goes on. Panic stri uh panic stricken, gutless, because you 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 niggas are weak, man. And the apostles said it themselves, man, from up top. All right? There are niggas in great millstones. And they won't be weeded out and tell you how a shot come back. All right. There are absolute niggas in great millstone. Okay. And your is about to get through all of that stuff, man. You know, but the next scripture I wanted to get. Which this scripture right here is, is crucial, man. Matthew chapter 10. Verse 37. Y'all know what this is. It says, and this is Yahweh speaking. It says, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. All right, so if you love your family, you love your wife, you love your house, your vineyard, and everything else, more than Yahweh Shah, you're not worthy of Yahweh Shah, man. And ultimately, he not supping with your ass. And that's plain cut and dry, man. Verse 38, and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Hey, you guys are not worthy of Yahweh Shah, all right? Those men in uh, uh, the book of Luke 14 and 16 through 20 I read, man, you niggas is making excuses not to take up your cross and follow after Yahweh Shah because you care for the things of this world. Again, we have nothing in this world to have, man. Nothing in this world is ours. Nothing on this side is ours to keep and to hold and to treasure, man. All right, the men of the elect is laying up those treasures in the kingdom of heaven, man. We do what we can on this side by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. We pro we out there prophesying. All right, we laying up our treasures in the kingdom of heaven because we believe, we have faith, we have hope. Which is the evidence of things not seen, but hopeful. We have hope and faith that Yahweh Shah is going to bless us, man. Because we are here doing the work. Not for filthy lucre's sake. We're going out here for war. We don't give two shits about our lives, man. <laughs> Which you can't even call it that anyway. Because we're not living. Alright, we dead. Alright? We don't have shit on this side. Alright? It says, uh, verse 39. He that findeth, oh, this is the this is the cutter right here, man. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake, uh, for my sake, shall find it. He that findeth his life shall lose it. So you found all the goods, you know. Once again, you got your house, your vineyard, your wife, your family, and so on and so forth. You don't want to lose it. You just found it. You just so called found your life. Oh yeah, man. You know I. You know, I don't want to go out to the highways and byways no more, man. I just care too much for my family, man. You know, my wife, she's um, she's pregnant. You know what I mean, man? I can't just leave them by themselves just to go do a whole bunch of wickedness, man. At the end of the day, he that findeth his life shall lose it. And if there's, if there's any nigga in GMS speaking like that, man, you can already expect that nigga to fall out. All right? Because in this truth, you got to forsake the things of this world. You gotta forsake your family for this truth. Still take care of your family, all right? Because that's that's a uh, that's a that's a moral obligation. Hey, yeah, uh, how about Shema Shah told you to take care of your family, man? But don't put your family above this truth. And that's why, <laughs> if you scared, just get the hell out, man. Just get up and leave. The men of Great Millstone would be more than happy to give you your walking papers, all right? 
He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. The men of the elect, you know, I brought this out with those men. We about to lose our lives for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. To be deemed worthy. You know, to earn the kingdom of heaven. You know, we want to receive that crown of life. That's why we out here going to war, man. Knowing that Esau is about to come down upon us, as the scriptures say, having great wrath. All right, the enemy going to come in like a flood. We know that. We understand that. But that's why we're standing out there in the highways and hedges, man, in the chief places of concourse, prophesying the words of Yahweh Hashem al Shah, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, the Lord talked about you lukewarm niggas, man. You know, and I'm going to get that. And um, I'm going to probably just wrap it up on that. So lucky. I'm going to just wrap it up on that revelation. Um, Chapter 3, verse 16. Hold up, let's lock it. Let's lock it, Aku. There we go. Revelation chapter 3, verse 16. It says, So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither hot nor uh, cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So if you in that spirit of going back into the world, you know, having nothing. You know what I'm saying? You you claim you missed something from Babylon and so on and so forth. Man, Yahweh Shem Al said he's going to spew you. He's going to spit you out of his mouth, man. All right? I don't know about you, but I don't want to get spewed out of the, uh, out of the Lord's mouth, man, because he's going to spew you out of his mouth right into that two-thirds category deemed for destruction, man. <laughs> All right? Because you niggas is kind of worthy of destruction. The men of the elect, we don't miss the world, man. Uh, we're not scared about we're not scared of what's about to come down upon us, man. We're fully aware that we're about to get tortured, beaten, scourged, interrogated. All right, but it's it's righteous, man, because we're doing it for the sake of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. Because we want to get counted worthy. Everything we're going through on this side ain't compared to what Yahweh Shai went through when he was on the scene. All right, seventeen, because thou sayest I am rich. And increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Hey, so Yahweh clearly said, you don't even know that you wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, man, because that's exactly what we are on this side. Why would you want to go back to that? Because you want to be a nigga and you want to go back into the world and comfort the things of this world man. have comfort and, and trust. And trust in the shadow of this world, man. There's nothing here for us, man. All right? So I strongly advise that you brothers get out of that that, that weak, feeble, faint-hearted spirit, man. Are you going to get spat out of your house Shema Shah's mouth? Right into that, that uh, them nuclear missiles, man. Them ICBMs. All right? But Lord's will, I pray y'all brothers edified, man. You know what I'm saying? Um... Uh, credit goes to uh, GMS Bonds, uh, man, for you know just for just Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know, if we'll credit to him first, you know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah putting the spirit on that brother to um allow me to do this video, man. You know, again, pray y'all brothers was edified, and until next time, man, stay strong. We don't got shit in this world, man. All right, call Allah and Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And salutation to you, Akim out there in the four corners, laboring, going to war, and teaching and pushing forth this truth with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.